starts now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Nate Myhock. Competing in a sport with a friend can always make things a little more fun. But one group competes in snowmobile races as a family. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson has details. Chad Seiler has one thing on his mind this weekend. <laughs> to race snowmobiles. Chad got into snowmobiles unintentionally, but after his first ride, him and the sled were inseparable. The adrenaline, the competition, um, very competitive person. This weekend, Chad, his daughter Chloe, and his father Patrick are all in Eagle River for the World Championship Vintage Snowmobile Races. They drove nine hours. The track is a fan favorite, but also a racer favorite. It's the best. It's the, it's the granddaddy of them all. I mean, this is where people come from all over the United States. Patrick has always been into vintage things. So the, my first sled was a 1972. And then I had a 78 Polaris TX. So it just became natural. I mean, I collect, um, I've redone um, vintage cars, trailers, so it's just part of life. But he didn't start racing sleds until his son Chad did. It became a family tradition. The family aspect of this is what it's all about. Patrick's granddaughter Chloe is newer to racing, but she was a natural from the start. Chloe enjoys being able to race with people she um, knows. It's enjoyable. I mean, it's fun when you're able to win, like, the your racing and being able to have, like, other people looking up for you. At the end of the day, whether they win or lose, the three generations come together. But Chad can never truly let go of his competitive side. Well, we come here to win. So. Reporting for Newswatch 12 in Eagle River, I'm Morgan Johnson. Well, Andrew, it certainly looks like it's going to be a good weekend for those races, huh? Definitely, Nate. We'll get some fresh snow on the ground this weekend, but it's going to be a little bit colder tonight, but then a little bit warmer tomorrow before we get colder again. So just to look at that wind chill that we have on the way for tonight, we have temperatures getting down near zero, already almost there now in some spots, but it's going to be the wind chill that has us feeling like negative 15 in some spots for overnight. So definitely a night to bundle on up. Current temperature readings across the area right now, most areas in the single digits near zero, a couple areas dipping below zero right now. This is the neighborhood that we are going to stay in for overnight. So lows near zero, feeling a lot colder with the wind chill as a factor. Now you may have noticed today starting off with those clear blue skies, quickly then overtaken by the clouds. Clouds have been on the increase from the west to the northeast for today. And we will keep up those clouds overnight along with some snow showers. Those are still a little bit off to our west. And these are going to be minimal snow showers with minimal accumulations. Most of that happening north of Highway 8. All those details coming up in just a bit. Nate? Thank you, Andrew. Every new year, Eagle River residents hold their breath for the city's famous ice castle. But ice conditions can't be too thick or too thin. This year, they're just right. Volunteer firefighters were already hard at work today. The department cut nine inches into the ice. They did so using machines. They'll cut the last three inches by hand tomorrow. Also on Saturday, more than 2,000 blocks of ice will be carried from Silver Lake to downtown Eagle River. The design of this year's castle is by the late Jack Thomas, whose family has been involved with the ice castle since the tradition began in the 1930s. Eagle River Fire Chief Michael Anderson wanted to continue that family legacy, and they did so by using Thomas's old design. It's very important to the family to keep that tradition alive. So I do my best to make sure that the, the tradition of, of their family designing all the ice castles continues throughout the years. And you may have noticed that Chief Anderson made the design model out of Legos. He has about 2,500 individual pieces, each represent a single block of ice. I'm a visual person. I can look at something on paper and not see it. When I, when I build it with the Legos, I can see what we're doing. It just it helps me manage the whole process. Cutting out ice blocks will start at 9.30 tomorrow morning on Silver Lake. Volunteers are welcome and asked to check in at the railroad depot. Half-ton pickup trucks are needed to then haul ice from the lake to the depot. Volunteers are also welcome to help the building process. That will take place on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Across the country, there are many businesses still struggling to recover from the previous two years of slow business due to the pandemic. One of those businesses is Stargazer Limousine Service. They were caught off guard just like so many others. 
2019, we're doing great. Uh, in fact, we broke a record. And then when 2020 hit, it was just a, like taking a ball and just dropping it in a hole. Richard says there is hope for a greater day ahead and increase the business in 2022, especially compared to struggles in the past two years. With the experiences that many of us companies have gone through, uh, we just need to hang in there, get through them, and eventually things will improve. Linsmeyer says the business is not fully back yet, saying there is still a lot of work to be done in order to get business back to where they would like to see it. New data shows unemployment fell in December, but job growth didn't reach levels predicted by economists. According to the Labor Department, unemployment dropped to 3.9 percent. That's a new low during the pandemic. However, the economy only added 199,000 jobs. That's only half of what economists predicted. And it was also the fewest amount of jobs added during any month in 2021. But President Joe Biden looked at the numbers and he, he took a glass half full approach. Today's report also tells us that record wage gains, especially for workers in some of America's toughest jobs, women and men who work in the front line jobs in restaurants, hotels, travel, tourism, desk clerks, line cooks, waitstaff, bellmen, they all saw their wages at a historic high, the highest in history. 2021 had record-breaking growth. In total, America added 6.4 million jobs last year, the most since 1939. A Georgia judge sentenced the three men convicted of killing Ahmad Arbery, a black man who was out running in February of 2020. The deadly shooting drew international attention after video of the incident leaked, leading to arrests months later. NBC's Bree Jackson has the latest. As we understand it, he left his home apparently to go for a run, and he ended up running for his life. Today, a Georgia judge sentencing father and son Gregory and Travis McMichael to life without the possibility of parole for the killing of 25-year-old Ahmad Aubrey. Their neighbor, William Bryan, was sentenced to life with the possibility of parole. The cell phone video of Aubrey, a black man, being chased and gunned down by three white men while he ran through a Georgia neighborhood sparked a national outcry. Nearly two years later, Aubrey's father still haunted by the crime. Not only did they lynch my son in broad daylight, but they killed him while he was doing what he loved than anything, running. More than a month ago, a jury found the trio guilty of murder. Today, the family pleading for life without parole. The loss of Ahmad has devastated me and my family. Ahmad never said a word to them. He never threatened them. Defense lawyers asked the judge for leniency, arguing their clients did not intend to kill anyone. Exercise this discretion in favor of growth, in favor of redemption, in favor of hope for not just the McMichael family, for not just Everett McMichael, but for the Arbery family. The Aubrey family today say they feel a sense of justice, but they continue to fight in honor of Ahmad. The men convicted of his murder now face a second trial on federal hate crime charges. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. Jury selection for the federal trial is scheduled for February 7th. Last week, we lost the legendary Betty White, and unfortunately, today we lost another great. Legendary film actor Sidney Poitier has died. We'll tell you about his legacy next. That's after Main Weather with Andrew right here on News Watch 12. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with new style at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 54% off holiday doorbusters and special buys while they last. Plus interest-free financing for five years. Pay less than $20 a month for a new room you'll love at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Start the new year off right with Menards Bag Sale. Pick up a bag in store and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now through January 15th. Whether you pack it, load it, stuff it, or stack it. From light bulbs to tools, snacks, and much more, fit it in the bag and save 15%. So pick up a bag in store and find out how much you fit in the bag now through January 15th. 
My accident happened in a second. My settlement? That's taking a really long time. If you've been injured in an accident and need money now while your case settles, call Oasis today. Better days start today. Get the cash you need with Oasis. There's no risk. If you lose your case, you don't have to pay Oasis back, ever. Applying for Oasis Express Cash is easy and takes three minutes. We'll work with your attorney, and if you're approved, get you $500 to $100,000 in as little as 24 hours. Use it for bills, rent, whatever you need help with. So call now or go online to apply. Remember, there's no risk to you. Better days. Better days. Better days start today. Oasis Financial, because life moves faster than your case. Call now. Once approved, get your money in as little as 24 hours. 1-800-745-9991. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with new style at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save as much as 40% off on top brand appliances while they last. Plus no interest financing for 18 months with $999 minimum purchase. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Welcome on back. It's the end of a chilly Friday and we had a sharp temperature contrast out in north central Wisconsin today, really to areas beyond as well. Looking for that high. Yes, that high temperature of three in Minneapolis and then off to the east looking for a high of 24 in Escanaba. Everywhere in between getting to those teens and even single digit highs. Just for added reference, our average low for this time of year in Rhinelander is at about five degrees and we had that high of five in Ladysmith for today. So absolutely bitterly cold today. Tomorrow we get to more seasonable temperatures. That's a high of 23. That is our average for this time of year. And then it's right back down to off the chart readings for even Monday with a high of negative one. So it's going to be a couple of chilly days on the way after a little bit of a relief on Saturday. And then temperatures are back on the increase into middle parts of next week. Now also on the increase has been that cloud coverage that we have been seeing today, starting off our day today with clear blue skies all around. But you have noticed those clouds on the increase. Those have been building in from the west towards the north. Northeast, and those are right now giving us mostly cloudy skies that will be here well into Saturday. We are also looking for a chance of some snow showers. Those are coming through the region tonight and will give any sort of accumulating snowfall mostly to areas north of Highway 8 overnight. Okay, there's going to be some dry slots of uh, air to get through, so most areas will stay on the dry side. But as you can see for our future snowfall graphic, having most accumulating snowfall an inch or more for areas north of Highway 8. Otherwise, areas to the south just struggling to even get any snow. So we'll be talking about more of a dusting down there for parts of central Wisconsin. And then, of course, into northwest Wisconsin, getting some of that action, too. But really, just think areas north of Highway 8. So Eagle River, you should be good to go for this weekend for all the races. Now, I do want to point on out, too, that after that snowfall does move off to the east, we are keeping up the wind that we will be feeling for overnight. It's going to be breezy tonight, windy tomorrow. So as we time out Futurecast for you here, setting this into motion, seeing that cloud coverage staying over the area, seeing these wind gusts. That's uh, what we have here coming out of the southwest near 20 miles an hour into our Saturday. And as you look later on into the day into our Sunday, then for the rest of the weekend, winds do shift to out of the northwest and become all the more blustery. Some wind gusts getting near 30 miles an hour as we do have clearing skies. So Sunday, look forward to that sunshine back after a really gray day on Saturday. But no, it's going to be feeling even colder, colder temperatures and stronger winds throughout the daytime. And that does keep up into the afternoon to evening hours as well. So as a consequence, here are some of those feel like temperatures, the wind chills that we'll be having through the weekend. Here we are waking up on our Saturday, getting into the early hours, feeling like the negative teens, and it's going to feel pretty cold for the rest of the day, having those daytime highs. We saw it near 20, but we're going to be feeling like the teens for those daytime highs overnight, feeling like negative 20 into early hours of Sunday morning. So bundle on up, getting out the door. Tonight we're down near one with some light snow. It's just going to be downright cold, feeling like the negative teens. On our Saturday highs at 23, season temperatures, but feeling a lot colder, feeling 10 degrees less than this with the wind chill and just buckle up for a gray day all around with that wind. And as we look at our seven day forecast brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress is going to show us with our gray day on Saturday, seeing some sunshine return, but also keeping up with those colder temperatures for the week. Then we do have temperatures on the increase and have our next chance for snow showers by next week, Friday. Nate. Thank you, Andrew. 
Legendary film actor Sidney Poitier has died. On Friday, Friday, the Bahamas Prime Minister's press secretary confirmed the news. Poitier's cause of death has not been announced. He was the first black performer to win the Academy Award for Best Actor, which he won in 1964 for his role in the film Lilies of the Field. He received much critical acclaim, including a second honorary Oscar for his performances in iconic movies, including In the Heat of the Night, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and A Raisin in the Sun. Poitier was also a prominent civil rights activist and served as the Bahamas ambassador to Japan for a decade. We'll have more on his life tonight at 10. It's been over a year since Packers left tackle David Bacciari tore his ACL, but he could be seeing the field this weekend in Detroit. We'll break that all down after the break. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with new style at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to 54% off holiday doorbusters and special buys while they last. Plus interest-free financing for five years. Pay less than $20 a month for a new room you'll love at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Whether you're just beginning your educational journey or seeking a new opportunity, we're here for you. At North Central Technical College, we have unique partnerships with four-year colleges that allow you to transfer seamlessly to and from our campus, saving you time and money. With hundreds of transfer options available, the path to a bachelor's degree and a great paying career are just a step away. North Central Technical College. Start here, go anywhere. Every living creature on Earth needs Mother Nature's water for survival. From the family pet, whether it's the dog, our fish in a fish tank, to the precious little munchkins running around. For seven decades, Maher Water Corporation has been supplying and treating this water for the entire family with products made here in Wisconsin by Water Care. So call us today for the cleanest, safest water around. Play your way. Dine your way. Stay your way. Ho Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Win your way. Breaking records, changing his sport, Nathan Chen. America's top figure skaters compete one last time to earn their spot at the Winter Olympics, the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with new style at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Save up to $1,000 on select mattresses. Shop in stock mattresses up to 65% off and delivered to your door within five days. Plus interest-free financing for five years on luxury brands at Furniture and Appliance Mart. The Green Bay Packers have one final regular season matchup this Sunday. The team will head to Detroit with the NFC's one seed already locked up. We already have confirmation that superstars Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams will play against the Lions. Meanwhile, left tackle David Bakhtiari was listed as a full participant in Friday's practice. Matt LaFleur said earlier in the week that if everything went smooth, Divac could make his season debut this Sunday. Currently, he is listed as questionable for the game. Meanwhile, cornerback Jair Alexander was activated off the reserve COVID-19 list. Alexander was taken off of injured reserve a few weeks ago. He hasn't played since the team's week four battle against the Steelers. Number 23 was a limited participant in Friday's practice. However, fans shouldn't expect to see him on the field against Detroit. Alexander ruled out for Sunday's game, but the team is hoping to get him back before their first playoff game in two weeks. I'd imagine that a lot of people here in the Northwoods would love to catch a fish for a living. And while our very own Chris Baranek doesn't get paid to fish, he does get paid to show off people's big old fish. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Manaqua. You're going to need a bigger boat. What did the shark say after eating the clown fish? 
Hmm, that tasted a little funny. Before I start this week's Big Old Fish, I just want to wish everyone a happy new year and wish everyone a year of happiness and good health. Well, anyway, let's move on with this week's Big Old Fish. We start off with eight-year-old Eddie Pierce from White Lake. Now, Eddie caught these two big crappies while he was jigging with his dad on Christmas Eve on Sawyer Lake. Well, that's not one Big Old Fish, but two Big Old Fish. Way to go, Eddie. Keep on reeling them in. Next up on this week's Big Old Fish, we have nine-year-old Kasten Sams from Argonne. Now, this is Kasten's first fish of the year, caught in an area lake with his Papa Terry. Now, he pulled this beautiful 25-inch walleye through the hole, and it fell on the ice. Well, I'm glad you got the lucky bounce, Kasten. That is one big old fish. Keep on reeling them in. Finally, on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Julie Brett from Rhinelander. Now, Julie was fishing in Winter Haven, Florida, when she caught this absolutely gorgeous largemouth on a large shiner with a float. So that it weighed in at over five pounds. I don't, I don't care where you catch a largemouth, over five pounds, that's still a big old fish. Way to go, Julie. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Norling Taxidermy Fish Mill is on our website, WJFW.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. <laughs> At Hardee's, there's so many tongue-teasing, wallet-pleasing ways to enjoy our new $5 meal deals. Whether it's hand-breaded chicken tenders or the big cheeseburger with fries and a drink. Woo! Go ahead and treat yourself to the new $5 meal deals at Hardee's. Feed your happy. Hello, my name is Terry and I'm from Phillips. I used to go on vacations with my wife, Gail, but I couldn't go much over two hours and I'd have to stop and walk because my lower back would hurt so bad. So after my final treatment at Spinal Aid, I am pain free and can't imagine the pain and agony that I went through prior to going. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. This is a special report for people who want the facts about reverse mortgages without the hype. You've seen a lot of commercials telling you how you can turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. But do you really know if a reverse mortgage loan can help you? Call today. For a limited time only, we'll send you a free special report, Reverse Mortgages, Facts Without the Hype. Did you know that not everyone over 62 can qualify? And you can choose to receive your money monthly or in a lump sum. Call us today and get all the facts you need. You'll speak with an experienced reverse mortgage advisor who will give you honest answers to your questions and even provide a free personalized assessment. This is a big decision. Get the facts with this free special report. Reverse mortgages, facts without the hype. There's no obligation, and the call is free. So don't delay. Call 1-800-737-5145. That's 1-800-737-5145. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Whether it's the original hot ham and cheese, three-piece hand-breaded chicken tenders, or the big cheeseburger with fries and a drink, choose your flavor with the $5 meal deals at Hardee's and feed your happy. Welcome back to a final look at your forecast. Just a heads up for tonight. We do have some snow showers on the way. Most accumulating snowfall north of Highway 8 tonight. So just a little bit of snow, a dusting to about an inch or so. Otherwise for tonight, it's also going to be cold. Lows near 1, but also feeling like the negative teens because of the wind chill as just part of life. So uh, be prepared for that. Otherwise, we get into Saturday still keeping up with the cold. It's going to be 23 for a high, but feeling like the low teens and a gray one all around. So don't expect that sunshine to make much of an appearance at all. And as we look at our seven-day forecast, Nate, the sun is back as soon as Sunday, but then colder temperatures are on the way. So just keep that in mind, especially look at Monday. Monday is going to be uh, pretty bitterly cold. Real day. brutal. A perfect Northwoods winter for the snowmobile races this yep, weekend. Definitely. Too. So if you're going, bundle up. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tonight at 10.